Welcome to this edition of Marvell's Follow the Wire video series. In this session, we're going to talk about one of the newest innovations in fiber channel technology that helps system administrators optimize workload performance in the fiber channel SAN. It's called virtual lane technology. Let's start by talking about workloads in shared storage environments. In the storage network, the connections between host switches and storage ports are essentially single lane highways. When workloads share the same connection from say a host port to a switch port, the performance of one workload can impact others, just like slow moving cars can impede faster cars on the street. Virtual lane technology was developed to address this. Virtual lanes is a firmware and hardware implementation that's unique to Marvell QLogic HVAs that works in conjunction with QLogic Universal SAN Congestion Mitigation Technology that we discussed in another one of our Follow the Wire videos. Virtual lanes can create a three-lane highway at the port level and is enabled when the congestion F-pin notification is received from the SAN switch. Similar to a highway, with virtual lane technology, the adapter port gets segmented into three different lanes, a normal, slow, and fast lane. This allows slow traffic to be quarantined from the faster traffic, similar to trucks using the slow lane to allow faster cars to pass easily on the highway. The fiber channel fabric, switch vendor enhancements like port fencing, virtual channels and such, segregate data traffic within the switch to create dedicated lanes based on flow bandwidth. But this is only one step in addressing congestion. For example, if one of the workloads for a given bandwidth is creating congestion, then all the other workloads using that channel in the switch get impacted. So there needs to be more intelligence added to the equation and that's where Marvell QLogic USCM and Fiber Channel Impact notifications come into play. Marvell and Cisco now support virtual lane technology, which enables SAN traffic to be segmented into dedicated lanes for slow, normal, and fast traffic at the host port. This allows for segmentation of slower traffic from higher priority traffic. Uh, traffic can be steered on each virtual lane and each can carry a different storage protocol or a different session within the same protocol. This configuration is really useful in multi-protocol environments, for example, where we have FC NVMe and FC SCSI in the same fabric. Within USCM, the driver prioritizes the use of virtual lanes over I.O. throttling based on profiles for peer congestion. For example, when there is congestion, the driver switches the session associated with a slow device to a slow virtual lane. If that peer continues to be congested, then the host may throttle the request to that device. Virtual lane functionality is supported on Marvell QLogic 2770 and 2870 series enhanced 32 gig fiber channel and 64 gig fiber channel HPAs, along with Cisco MDS switches running the NX OS 9.32 or later. Check with your Broadcom representative as to when virtual lane capability will be enabled on brocade fiber channel switches and directors. There are several use cases for virtual lane technology. First can be in the case of target congestion. Uh, using the fabric performance impact notifications that we talked about in our video on sand congestion mitigation, the HPA and switch can work in conjunction to identify slow devices or workloads and then can quarantine that traffic to the slow lane. For database applications, the high priority query data and the low priority log data can be segmented. The query data is typically routed to a flash storage device, whereas log data is typically sent to lower cost and slower HDD storage. Virtual lanes can be used to prioritize these flows accordingly. And in the future, the OS will get into the mix and using VMID, as we discussed in another video as well, the system administrator can set a priority at the VM level that can then be passed to the HBA, and the HBA can route the data flow from the VM to the appropriate virtual lane. 
This is still a work in progress with the key OS vendors like VMware, but it's something that will be coming in the future. Here are the QLogic HPAs that support the virtual lane technology. The QLE 2770 series adapters provide 32 gig fiber channel connectivity, and the QLE 2870 series are our 64 gigabit fiber channel offerings. While this capability is somewhat limited in scope today with Cisco switches only, work continues with the other switch vendors and the OS vendors to further enhance this capability. Customers can future-proof their storage environments with QLogic fiber channel HPAs today and reap the benefits of continued integration in the very near future. Here are the key takeaways as it relates to virtual lane technology. This technology allows workload performance optimization in fiber channel shared storage network environments. This is a technology that is supported with Linux today and with Cisco switches and will be supported by VMware in the future. And virtual lane technology is exclusive to QLogic QLE 2770 and 2800 series HPAs, as this is something that's baked into the actual design of the fiber channel ASICs and the firmware and drivers. For more information, go to www.marvell.com slash QLogic, and you'll get all the details about Marvell and QLogic fiber channel HPA technology. And be sure to check out our other Follow the Wire videos on the Marvell YouTube channel. Thanks for your time and attention, and I hope you have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.